While the Microsoft Edge browser does offer a ton of useful features, when compared with other browsers, some of its default settings should be changed to give users a better experience. So coming up, I'll show you the settings to change in Microsoft Edge to speed up the browser performance, enhance privacy, and improve productivity to make your overall experience better using it. Let's get started. The first setting to enable is strict tracking prevention. Doing this will offer the most restrictive level of blocking the widest range of trackers, offering the highest level of privacy protection. To do this, click the three dot menu in the upper right and select settings. In the left pane, select privacy, search and services. Then here on the right, select tracking prevention. Balanced is what they recommend and is the default setting. Click on strict to enable it for the best protection. It says here that it blocks a majority of trackers from all sites. Content and ads will likely have minimal personalization. Parts of sites might not work and blocks known harmful trackers. I've had this set to strict for the past couple of years and have never had issues with parts of any sites not working, but your experience may vary, so try it out. For this next one in settings, we'll stay here in privacy, search and services and enable scareware blocker. This AI powered feature uses machine learning to identify and block scareware scams, like those full screen takeovers that warn you that you have been hacked, hijacking your keyboard, asking you to call a fake support number and other online scams. To enable it in privacy, search and services, select security. You should see it near the top. It's off by default. Click the toggle to enable it. When enabled and it detects these scams, it should exit full screen mode and give full control back to the user. In Edge, as you would expect, Microsoft Bing is the default search engine. If you'd like to change it to something else, here's how you do it. In settings with privacy, search and services selected, click on search and connected experiences. Then go to address bar and search. Click the drop down for search engine used in the address bar. Other than Bing, your choices include Yahoo, Google, DuckDuckGo, and Yandex. The best one here for privacy is DuckDuckGo, so I'll go with that one. In Edge, to use the Microsoft Artificial Intelligence product that they call Copilot, you would click on the icon in the upper right to open a sidebar to use it. While I like using it, there are many people that don't. So for a cleaner look and to disable the Copilot sidebar completely, here in the left pane, click on Copilot and sidebar. In app and notification settings, click on Copilot, then click the toggle to disable it. And you'll notice it no longer appears on the toolbar. The default home page on Edge can be quite distracting with its never ending news feed, especially when you need to concentrate working on a project. Let's go back to the top. To get rid of it, click on Feed Layout, then select Headings. This is so much better. If you ever want to see the news feed, it now starts here on the second page instead of the first. Let's go back to the top. If you want to get rid of the news feed completely, here in the upper right, click on Page Settings, then click the toggle for either Show Content or Show Feed to turn it off. I keep show widgets disabled for weather, sports, stocks, and, and other stuff that's not needed. They do have some cool backgrounds on here, so I do have background enabled. Now on the home page, there's only one page and the news feed is no longer available if you try to scroll down. On a side note, before we move on, if you want more information about the background image, move your cursor over the image and hover it over the information icon. To change the image, click on See All Background Images. Scroll down here a bit. There's quite a few to choose from. And I keep change new background daily turned on. It's a personal preference thing. This tip is for those of you who prefer using vertical tabs on the side instead of having them horizontal at the top. They've now made it quite easy to turn on vertical tabs. Here in the upper left, click on the tab actions menu and then select Turn on vertical tabs. Now you'll see the tabs icons here on the left. When hovering your cursor over them, you'll see the full descriptions of the tabs you have open. To go back to horizontal tabs, go to the tab actions menu, which has moved and select 
turn off vertical tabs. Having a split screen comes in handy when you don't have access to more than one monitor, especially when working with an online document and having another website open for research. To get easy access to the split screen feature, in settings, click on appearance, scroll down, and in other appearance settings, select toolbar. Scroll down again, click the toggle to enable the split screen button. It now appears on the toolbar to the right of the address bar. For the tab I want open on the left, I'll select the tab for an online document, then click on split screen. Then I'll select the other open tab here on the right. It's that easy. The favorites bar here at the top, taking up space is redundant. Your favorites can also be accessed in the three dot menu here in the upper right and selecting favorites. To get back some of that screen real estate, we'll stay here in appearance and toolbar. Near the middle from the top of the page, look for show favorites bar, click the drop down and select never. And now it's gone. If you set tracking prevention too strict, which I mentioned earlier, you should know that Edge still doesn't block third-party cookies from websites that track your web activity as you go from site to site. So I'll show you how to block them. In settings, on the left, go to cookies and site permissions. Click on cookies and site data. For block third-party cookies, click on the toggle to turn it on. This will block websites from storing third-party cookies tracking your web activity. And it says here, features on some sites may break. In my experience, these are so-called features you would not want anyways. When you close out Edge, there may be various extensions, along with web apps powered by Microsoft Edge that run in the background, taking up system resources. So let's put a stop to that. In settings, in the left pane, click on System and Performance. Go into System. Enabled by default is continue running background extensions and apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. Click on the toggle to disable it. Microsoft, just like Google and some of the others, will use your browsing activity to show you targeted ads, shopping recommendations, and curated news. If you don't want Microsoft using your data for these purposes, here on the left, go to Privacy, Search, and Services. Click on Privacy. In Search and Service Improvement, and Personalization and Advertising, turn both of these off to enhance your privacy while you're online. Audio or video that automatically starts playing on a website is the absolute worst, making for a horrible user experience, and it also uses up system resources. I'll show you how to stop this from happening. To do this is buried in the settings. In the left pane, select Cookies and Site Permissions. Go into All Permissions. Scroll all the way down, look for and click into Media Autoplay. From the drop down menu, select Block and that'll put a stop to that. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What settings have you changed in Microsoft Edge to make the experience better for you? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.